Hey guys, it's Scott with Everyday Home Repairs, and be honest, you've probably been putting this off for multiple years, and that is your light fixture in your closet or your laundry closet, basement, attic. This is how you turn it on, by just screwing the light bulb. And that's often because these pull switches, the pull chains, can easily break. But this is less than a $5 repair and should only take you a couple minutes. Let's jump in, I'll show you how. All right, just like starting off any electrical project, we're gonna to wanna to make sure we turn off the power to that circuit. Now this is a bedroom closet, so I think it'd be under bedrooms, right? So we got a living room, hall lights, furnace, washer, bedroom. Now I left the light on, so when I flipped this off, I was expecting the light to go off. Now that was not the case, and this is also why you can't just go by the labels. You have no idea who wrote these in, um, and you don't know if they made any mistakes, so you, you need to be careful and test it out. So, hall and lights. So now we'll remove the fixture. First taking the light bulb out, and then I'm gonna double check with a voltage tester. If you guys don't have one of these, look down in the description, you'll see the one I'm working. But what I'd want to do is just stick it up within the socket and see if it detects any type of voltage. All right, so now we'll remove the two mounting screws so we can get access to the wiring. Now with the screws removed again, I'm going to take my voltage tester and just test the black or red wire, the hot side, make sure I don't detect anything and then pull the wires out. Okay, so now you can see the wiring. Gold terminal is the hot side, the red or black side, and silver terminal is the neutral side. Here is why we want to be careful. You can see actually the insulation has been cut here, and this was in a metal electrical box. It had arced between the electrical box, which it served as the ground in that case, and uh, this is the hot side. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and trim up these wires a little bit. I have plenty of extra length, and then strip those down so I can get this damaged portion out. All right, so now I'll trim those wires back. And here's a tip, usually on wire strippers, you'll see these holes right here. Those actually can be used to create the hook you're gonna need to go around those terminals. So you can just put those in right at the end and then rotate around this outside and that will give you the right radius of bend that you need to connect those up to the terminals. All right, and then I went with just the Leviton basic lamp holder with pull chain. There are others with a three prong outlet built in, so that is something out there if you want it, but don't forget you're gonna need a ground for that. And this is, what I like about this is porcelain. It's heavier duty, especially compared to the plastic model. So look in the description, you'll see this exact model if you wanna get one like this. Okay, so now we will have a gold and silver terminal. Remember, gold is hot and this righty-tighty, right? So turning it to the right is gonna tighten. You want your hook to also rotate that same way. So we'll hook this around the terminal. Okay, and then you'll get your Phillips head screwdriver. But if, you're, if you don't like how that hook is, you can take your, you can take your strippers or needle nose pliers and give it just a little crimp. And that'll close up that eye. Now it's gonna be hard to take off, but it's gonna give you a better connection. Tighten that guy up. A little tip I've heard from licensed electricians are instead of using a Phillips, to finish it off and tighten it all the way down, just use a regular screwdriver and you'll be able to get more torque to tighten it up. 
Okay, so same way, we wanna get that clockwise orientation. Crimp it down a little bit. Then we'll tighten it down. And that's really all there is to wire. Now you can take the two screws found in the pack and you can start to thread those into your box. Just get them started. Don't go too far in. So then we'll tuck the wires up into the box and then we'll start to mount this fixture. Okay, so be careful when you tuck these up, especially if you have an electrical box so we don't damage the insulation. And then also, you might have noticed there are knockouts on the, on the screw mounting holes here. So that would be for instances like this when you have the screws at a closer distance between each other. So if you need to knock those out, which most of you probably don't, but if you do, just check out this link and I'll show you how to knock those out without damaging the porcelain base. All right, so now you'll rotate that and start to tighten the mounting screws. Now do not over tighten because the porcelain will crack and break if you do. All right, so I just flipped the breaker back on. I'm gonna install a new light bulb. and test it out. Perfect. As promised, super quick, and you'll be kicking yourself that you haven't done it earlier once you get your light back to working order. If you like these type of videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel as we have weekly videos coming out to help you with your repairs and improvements around the house, and we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.